Hi everyone, Christina here. Welcome to another card video at my blog and YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be using some new products from Simon Says Stamp, including this die, which is the Congratulations die. I'm also going to be using five new ink pads, and I'm going to mix it up with a little bit of older product. I'm using the Baby Party Animal Stamp Set, as well as two stencils that you'll see here in a little bit. Starting out by stamping the scene in Versifying Onyx Black Ink. Um, I'm going to stamp the entire scene and as I use each stamp, I'll also stamp the image on some masking paper. I'm going to be doing some ink blending over the top and I want to protect the areas of these images so that I can later on color them with colored pencils. So after I stamped all of the masks as well, I cut them out right up against the black edge of each image very carefully and then I applied them to the scene. And I'm going to be using these pretty carefully so that I can save these masks for use later and I'll just stick them to the back of the stamp set and it's really easy to use that way. So I just applied that mask over the top and I also did the banner. I also cut out all those little triangles and put those over as well. And I'm going to be doing some masking and because I want to have some masking tape perfectly straight on here I'm using my grid paper and this is going to give me a guide to apply the post-it tape so that it's on there perfectly. So I'm just using um, the lines on either side of my cardstock here to put that on and I'm covering up basically the bottom section of this uh, scene here. I'm going to be using two stencils, the medium dots stencil and the repeated hearts stencil. These are both from Simon's Stamp. But before I do that, I'm going to do a little bit of inking. This new color is called Stone and it's a really nice neutral gray color. It's kind of a, a medium to light gray color. I'm using a mini round blending tool to ink on a little bit of this color along the edges and coming up from that masking tape keeping the center area a little bit lighter than the edges. And after I've added all the color along the outside, I'm going to put this medium dot stencil over the top. And I'm going to just hold it down with a little bit of tape. And then I'm just going to start adding some color. And I'm going to just bring this color straight in on top of the stencil, kind of sweeping from the bottom left. And it's going to give just a little bit more color on those dot areas and add a really fun pattern to this entire top area of the card. This is going to kind of be the routine that I'm using for all of my inking today. I'm going to be adding some additional colors and stripes below this scene as soon as I'm finished here. So after I blend on all of those dots, I just lift it off the stencil. You can see that scene underneath. So I removed the post-it tape to reveal all of that inking. And I'm just going to move this piece of post-it tape up a little bit higher and have it mask off that top portion that I've already inked. And I'm going to start putting on some different colors now. I'm basically going to be applying these two uh, post-it tapes so that it leaves a small one inch gap in between. And so I'm going to be adding four colors to the bottom, starting with Willow. And you'll notice as I do the blending that I go to the ink pad and then I go on the scratch paper and then to, to the project. And if you just pounce off that initial bit of ink, it gets some of that harsh ink away, it takes it away. It makes it so you get a more smooth blended look. So after I had one initial color ink blending on, I put down my repeated heart stencil and did a long strip of tape down that one side so that I can sort of uh, swing back the stencil like a book. And I'm going to keep that stencil there the entire time while I'm working because I'm going to have that stencil design continue from the green color to the blue color to the apricot color and then to the purple. So I'm going over the top of this with a little bit more of that willow green color. It's going to give the heart design. And as soon as I'm done with this, I'm going to swing back that stencil and you'll be able to see everything that I've stenciled. So now I'm going to remo I've removed the post-it tape and I've moved it down and I'm going to move on to another color. In between each of these colors I did wipe down the stencil just to get rid of that extra ink that might be on the stencil surface so that it didn't transfer onto the other colors. So now I'm using the color called Lake Shores. It's a really, really pale blue. Um, it's a little bit more toned than sea glass. Sea glass is pretty bright. Lake Shores is a little bit more toned. It's a really pretty color. 
So like I did with the green section, after I put my initial ink blending down, I went over the top with the stencil and then I uh, swing back that stencil and then move the post-it tape down so that I have a new color section. And then I did the same thing with the apricot ink. This apricot ink is a really, really pretty kind of corally color. It's not quite as an intense of a color as some coral inks might be. It's a little bit more muted. I really love it, especially for kind of like a baby card like I'm doing today. So I inked on more of those hearts. And then this last color is thistle. And I ended up actually cutting off this portion. So um, you can just ignore the purple for now. <laughs> So after I had all of this stenciling done, it was time to kind of get the area ready for all of the colored pencils. So I peeled off all of the mas masking tape or the post-it tape, and then I took the masking paper off as well to reveal all of those white areas underneath. The coloring, colored pencils I'm using today are from Prismacolor. They're a really great pencil. I'm going to speed up the video process and turn on some music so you can watch the coloring. At the end of the coloring, I did go over those lines with a black pen just to re-emphasize them. Then I took some Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock and cut out the congratulations die three times. I'm going to adhere it to each other so it kind of stacks up to make a more substantial die cut. I'm using some Ranger Multimedia Matte Adhesive and I'm just dabbing on little tiny dots. And then after I have enough dots of that adhesive on there, I take the another one of those dies and just place it right over the top. And this glue doesn't, or adhesive, doesn't dry so quickly that you have to worry too much. It'll give you a little bit of time to kind of wiggle the paper around and get it into the right position. And I always like to kind of pick it up and use the edges and run my fingers along the edges to make sure everything's lined up. So I did that for the first part of congratulations, and then I also did it for the, the ha latter half. Then I took my adhesive and put dots on the back and then picked this up with tweezers and transferred it over to my scene here. You'll notice that I cut off that purple portion like I'd mentioned. And so it's just making this whole scene a little bit smaller than a standard size card. After I had the first part adhered, I put some more dots on the back of the second half. And then I also used tweezers to pick that up and move it over onto the card. So I'm going to be creating a card that's slightly smaller than the usual four and a quarter by five and a half. But just to start out, I uh, created a card base as if it was a full size card. So I took some Nina 110 pound solar white cardstock and scored it at five, or I'm sorry, four and a quarter to create a top folding landscape card. I then cut down that piece just a little bit more to get rid of some of that scene at the top and then put some Tombow Extreme adhesive on the back. I've heard that down to the card base and there's a little bit of a white section at the bottom and I just trimmed that off to make it look a little bit smaller. So I believe the finished card is about three and three quarters tall instead of four and one quarter. 
To finish off the card, I took some Stardust Stickles glitter glue and I just squirted that out onto some scratch paper and then used a brush to apply that over the top of the banner. I didn't want to have so much glitter that it was kind of intense like it would be if I took it straight from the bottle, so using a brush to apply it is a little bit easier. So that is the finished card for today. Super simple and easy. Hope you guys enjoyed. This is a great baby card. I thought I'd send this to one of my friends who just recently announced that she's expecting. So congratulations to her and thank you so much for watching. Thanks again for watching today's video. On screen are links to my most recent videos including a live chat where I did some brush lettering and just chatted with you guys and answered some questions and the center is a really super easy shaker card made with the we are memory keepers fuse tool and then that last video was from last week when I showed you guys a haul of different wrapping papers and art papers from paper source I hope you guys enjoyed today's video I will see you guys on Monday for a new card video thanks so much for watching <music>